Hi, in this video, we're going to show you how to configure the integration between ServiceNow and Secure Cloud Access. The first step is to enable ServiceNow within the Secure Cloud Access console. So we navigate to settings and on-demand access. Here, we navigate to the approval channel and we'll select ServiceNow. Now it's time to download the integration. So click on the SCA Flow ServiceNow file to download the integration. Before we continue, it is recommended to configure the cloud workspace delegations to extract the complete value of the integration. To do this, we navigate to Cloud Entitlements Manager. When you navigate to Settings, Workspace Delegation, you can find all your workspaces. The users that are defined as delegates will be the ones that will receive the ServiceNow ticket in order to, to approve the request. The next step is to configure the OAuth2 authentication for secure cloud access. We're starting in Cyborg Identity Administration. Here, we click Add Web App, Custom, and we select OAuth2 Server. Here you specify the name of the application as well as the application ID. This will be used later on. Next, navigate to Tokens, where we're going to select Client Credentials. Next, you can specify the Access Token Lifetime as well as the Issue Refresh Token. Both values can be adjusted to your organization's policy. Next, in scope, we want to define SCA to limit the scope of this application to SCA only. We need to provide the application permissions to the SCA API. So we're going to search for SCA and we're going to select SCA API full and read only access. The last step of this configuration is to specify the custom script that was provided in the documentation. The next step is to configure a service user. So we've navigated to users. We're going to select is OAuth confidential client and we can specify the ID of this user. You can manually create the password or use a generated password. Make sure you copy the value.
The next step is to make sure that the user has permissions to the correct roles to access the API. So both for the role SCA API read only, as well as SCA API full access, we're going to add the user as a member of this role. The next step is to configure OAuth2 authentication within ServiceNow. So we're going to switch from the sidebar portal towards ServiceNow. For this video, we're using client credentials. It is also possible to use authorization code. Both are described in our documentation. The first step is to add a user, navigate to users and configure a user similar to this screen. Next, we're going to make sure that this user is a member of the CyberArk role. Next, we navigate to OAuth to access the application registry. Here, we're going to make a new registry to create an OAuth API endpoint for external clients. First, we need to make sure that we can connect the OAuth user that we've just created. So we navigate to configure form design and we're going to search for OAuth. Here we select the OAuth application user. as well as the client secret. Make sure you copy the client and secret. The OAuth2 application within ServiceNow is now ready. Now that we've configured both OAuth2 authentications, we're going to navigate to identity flows to test first the Cyborg SCA OAuth2 authentication, and second, we'll continue with the ServiceNow OAuth2 authentication. So let's navigate to identity flows. From the identity administration page, we open up flows. Here, we navigate to settings and authorization. At the top right corner, we select new authorization. Then we select OAuth2 client credentials. We specify a name of this authorization. And we specify the client ID and the client secret of the user that we've created within Cyborg Identity. The token URL is linked to the web app that we've created in Identity as a OAuth2 server. Here, we also spe specify the scope as SCA by clicking authorized with the successful result you can confirm that your con configuration was successful let's continue by testing the OAuth2 authentication for service now in identity flows similar to the previous step we navigate to identity flows here we open up a new authorization we specify the name of it and we select client credential as the flow. 
Next, we define a client ID and the client secret that we've just created. To find the token URL, navigate to ServiceNow and copy the tenant URL. Make sure you specify the token URL, not just the tenant URL of service now. Next, click authorized and save the configuration. After a successful configuration of the OF2 authentication, it's time to move on to the configuration of identity flows. We're going to import the two flows that we've downloaded in the first step. One is to create the request. Two is to create the SCA policy. We've now imported the ServiceNow request flow. It's time to configure this flow. First, we select the ServiceNow node. Next, under authorization, we search for the ServiceNow OAuth authentication. The next step is to configure the ServiceNow tenant. We've defined the tenant URL as a custom value, basically a variable that you can change. In order to change this custom variable, select one of the fields so we can navigate to others, custom values, and here you can specify your ServiceNow tenant. We've now successfully configured this ServiceNow API node. We now click on the Cyborg node, and under authorization, we select the Cyborg OAuth2 authentication. We don't need to specify the subdomain of the SCA tenant. This will be done automatically by the integration. Next. We're going to import the second flow. Similar to the previous flow, for each Cyborg node, we need to specify the authorization. Under custom values for this flow, you can specify an email address from where the information will be sent. Both flows are now successfully configured. Make sure you hit save. Now that the flows have successfully been configured, we're going to install the application within ServiceNow. Before following the next configuration, Go to the ServiceNow store, search for Cyborg Secure Cloud Access, and click on Get for the specific application. This way, the package will be available within your tenant. Within ServiceNow, we're going to navigate to System Applications and click on Available to obtain from App Store. Here, you should already see the Cyborg application.
on the details page, you can click request to install to install the application within your ServiceNow tenant. The app is now ready for configuration. The final step is to configure the application within ServiceNow. After the installation within ServiceNow, you can search for SCA. Here, you can find the settings tab. Click new to configure the environment. As you can see, it's requesting the flows tenant and API key. So we navigate back to identity flows. And here, we copy the tenant URL. Make sure you copy it properly. The SE identity flow name is already pre-configured. All that's rest is the API key. Make sure you navigate to the SCA on-demand flow within Identity Flows. Navigate to Settings and specify API access. When you enable API key, you can copy the API key that, that is now visible. Copy the value and paste this within ServiceNow. Congratulations.